Right, so I've come back here, and I'm going to repent ever so slightly. Now, there hasn't been a break between episodes. I haven't actually seen what you guys have said as of part five. However, don't saying anything's a stupid idea. And I realised that as soon as I ended the episode. I'm joining up with Rena and showing some sort of concern. I'm curious about what your boyfriend is like, Claire. If he's okay, then why won't you say anything about him? I'm sorry, Ryu, but I don't need the approval of my friends for me to make my decisions. That is the most silliest decision in the book you can make. A boyfriend will do whatever the fuck he wants, as will a girlfriend. And your friends are there to look out for you. They're always looking for the best stiff. You know, slightly manipulating things in their side somewhere. Your friends are there for you. So she's just fucked off. Oh, good. Claire, wait! Claire walks away from us without looking back. Oh, we made her angry. Yeah, I... She defended, like, for no apparent reason. She was really... Non-information bringing towards us. That's suspicious. I mean, that's... Uh, we made the right decision, is what I'm trying to say. Rena looks directly at me. Ryu, we can't give up. We can't let st Claire stay with that horrible monster. Right. Even though I agree with her, I'm not sure about this anymore. For all I know, it really could just be a rumour. Rena and I head to school in silence. Alright everyone, let's get started. Alright, what are we doing? Are we learning about hieroglyphs again? Man, it's even harder to concentrate now that I'm thinking about Claire's boyfriend. I wonder if Sophia knows anything about him. After what she said yesterday, I'm willing to bet she already knew about this from the beginning. We're not going to have to speak to her again, are we? Alright, it's lunchtime. Time to find those nosy news reporter. I leave the classroom and head into the hall to look for Sophia. Now where is she? She said I'll be able to find her here. Looking for someone? I turn around and see Sophia behind me. I quickly hide my surprise. Ah, just the person I'm looking for. <laughs> the shittest greeting ever. Oh, and what do you want with me? Are you wanting to talk now? Yes. You want some information from me, and I want some information from you. Good, let's go for a walk, follow me. So, <laughs> before if I'd told her something, she would have just let me sit there in the front of the hall, but now I want to tell her something? She's like, no, let's go for a walk first. You'll have to see the boys, nah! She hardly seems surprised by all of this, so I wonder how much she really knows. I trail behind her, trying to size her up as she leads me to a less busy hallway. So then, Ryu, what do you think about your good friends Claire and Reno? Well, she gets bound to business pretty quickly. Well, take a look at her, for fuck's sake. All I know about Reno is that she is a millennium bug orphan. Oh, and she's really smart. Claire and I met a two, few years after the millennium bug innocent, in innocent incident. The three of us formed a team and entered a competition. Isn't there anything else about them? I shake my head, but I remember Reno's recent behavior. Wait, Rina's been acting... <laughs> That's it. Like, he only remembers well now. Uh, we met like this. Alright, what else do you know about them? I don't know anything about them at all. Oh, wait, hang on. Rina's been a bit weird recently. <laughs> Whatever, right. Last night, she came to me in tears saying that Claire's boyfriend is abusive. Hmm. So you didn't know about Claire's boyfriend then? So she does know about him. What else is she hiding from me? She wasn't hiding anything. She said she had information for you. <sighs> Whatever. Claire has barely mentioned that she had a boyfriend. While it wasn't part of my agreement with you, I suppose it's my duty as a good citizen to fill you in. He lives a good distance from here and he has control issues as well as a history of violence. He's usually a friendly guy, but there are stories, most of them verified by eyewitnesses and victims. Eyewitnesses? They do it around people? Just in a festival? Whatever. Hearing it from someone as cold, hard fact hurts even more. I heard... I had been clinging on to hope that it was all just a rumour, but if this guy really is like that... Claire, why are you even with this guy? I just don't understand. Right, are you okay? I try hard to push down my feelings, but I suddenly feel very overwhelmed. The more I think about what to do, the less certain I become. So it's true. Claire really is with a guy like that, huh? It, it, yes, and that's why she just told you. Have you tried speaking with her? She's too stubborn. I bet she'll, dev she'll be devoted to him no matter what. There's no way I can get her to change her mind about anything, especially her relationship. Yeah. I was going to say, like, <laughs> hang on a minute. Like, she'll say something and fucking day will be saved. Hang on, Sophia mentioned that one of those Wing of Light guys specialised in strong-willed girls. I wonder 
Spirit of Rings of Light, the name comes from the Grease Gang boy name. What was it? The T-Birds? That's horrible like that. I wonder if it came from that. Oh well. If I could find him, he might be able to help me break up Claire and her boyfriend. Or it might be him himself, you twat. <laughs> the idea of making a deal with one of those players disgusts me, but if it's for Claire's sake... Hey, I told you what I know, so tell me about that X-Wings of Light guy you mentioned before. You have not told her what you know. In fact, you have told her close to fuck all. And now you're like, right, tell me everything you know. Whatever. That look on your face is you're planning something. It's none of your business are you going to hold up your under the bargain or not. I don't cheat on my informant's rhyme. If you're looking for a member from the Rings of Light, you don't have to look too far. What is she talking about? What do you mean by that? Is it the she's one? Why don't you ask your good friend who moved here recently? I... Right. Wait, you mean Alex? Who else would I mean? He's a nerd obsessed with big-eyed girls who shoot magic bullets. He's definitely not a player. You don't have to believe me, but it's the truth nonetheless. Since you seem most so oblivious, I'll give you another freebie. Yeah. You know what? For a cold-cutting bitch of a journalist, you seem to be giving me a lot of free information. Rena stopped going to her school activities three months ago. Don't take it from me, ask her yourself. Nothing she says makes sense. Alex the Ataki used to play with girls' hearts, and Rena's weird behaviour, what is she up to? I'm not sure what to think anymore. Sophia has no reason to lie to me, and I trust her knowledge. Which is the game's way of saying she's telling the truth. Well, those are a lot of interesting statements you're making. You don't have to believe me, I don't care either way. But if that's all the information you have to offer, I have other things to be doing. I am willing to exchange more information should you have any more information you need to give me, though. Take care, Rai. By the way, I suggest you find yourself some new friends. Your life will be a lot more stable that way. <laughs> Gee whiz, thanks. Jesus. Sophia walks off, her stinging remarks still lingering in the air. Stable, huh? There's nothing wrong with my friends apart from they're all a fucking bunch of weirdos and they don't trust each other. Lunch breaks is almost over. I'd better hurry back to class and eat something. I finish my lunch without incident and buckle down for another lecture. All right, we're moving on to the next chapter in algebra. Yay! My mind quickly wanders from the lecture to everything Sophia had told me earlier. Is Alex seriously one of the infamous heartbreakers? He always seemed like one of those awkward nerds who was more interested in animated girls. Yeah. I did say when I saw him that he was a bit too much of a pretty boy, Treacle. And Rena's hiding something, but what? What? Well, we don't know. Like, it has not given us enough time to figure that out. Also, they take lunch so early in this school. I mean, it, it's what, 11 o'clock? I, I think that's pointing towards 11. Fuck knows what time that is. <laughs> it's not pointing to 11. It's kind of like three quarters of the way between 10 and 11. But then this is here as opposed to somewhere around here. Oh, well, still fucking early lunch break. Oh, well, I'll be seeing him today anyway. I can always ask. Oh, God, cosplay cafe. Jesus Christ. I forgot about that. As soon as class is over, I pack up my books and leave. Uh, we need to run through all that, okay. I dump my books at home and quickly change out of my uniform into something more comfortable. Hey, right, you see what I mean? I mean, it's, uh, glad you could make it. Let's head over to cosplay cafe. You know what, I take everything back I say about you being a pretty boy, you look like a twat. How did you con me into this again? Oh my lord. This is just porn, isn't it? Ugh. Welcome back, Master. Whoa, that's weird. I am not used to being called Master. It looks like we have a new Master. That is correct. Ryu, I would like you to meet one of the maids. She works here. I'm very happy that you could come to see me today, Masters. May I take your orders? We'll both have today's special. Alright, two specials coming up. I don't want to think what the specials is in a place like this. Hopefully not a lap dance. What's today's special? Whatever old stuff they have lying around, I guess. Oh, good. I'm kidding. The food here is really good. Just take it in slowly and absorb the culture. There is no culture to be had. This is weird. I'm not sure I want to. Why not? What? Don't you think it's weird to have some cute girl call you master? Okay, it's weird, but hey, at least she's cute and mates are wonderful. I glance around the cafe, eyeing the brightly coloured posters and figures that are scattered around the place. 
lots of anime stuff. I... <laughs> They're dull. Yeah, sure, whatever, I don't know about anime. I make a bland observation, trying not to stare at the other patrons. I wonder what attracts people to a place like this. Uh, fantasies. Deep, convoluted, weird fantasies. Do they sell anime stuff here? They do. There's plenty of manga you can buy if you're too interested. And they sell enough to buy a widescreen TV. I nodded the HD TV setup at the far end of the cafe. It's currently displaying brightly colored images of perky girls dancing to a high energy song. Big screens aren't actually that in common in these kinds of cafes. Sometimes cafe can hold events where they show anime specials. It's great because I can watch all the drama unfold on an expensive high definition screen. This is ridiculous. You know what I said before that no one speaks like that? Literally no one in the world speaks like that. That's weird. <sighs> Sounds uh, fun. It is. I even went to an anime convention in Japan. There were about half a million attendees. Good. Wow. I didn't even realize it was that popular. Yes, of course it's that popular in Japan. Uh, it's not much of a niche genre as it used to be. See, I, I said before I used to watch anime at 15, I was good bored. Oh, well, I brought your orders. Two strawberry sundaes. Please enjoy, Masters. Thank you. Are you coming again on Friday this week? I can't wait to see a childhood friend win for once. I don't know. The Sunderer seems to be the one who's going to win. I... After all this time, I still don't know what Sunderer means. People keep telling me and then I just instantly forget. Oh well. What on earth are they talking about? The maid seems to notice my confusion because she turns to me and hands me a card. Since you're new here, please fill your survey out. You'll be entered into a drawing. Into a drawing. To win the special edition of Storytellers Eternal. I cannot wait to sell that. Well, that's a pretty sweet surprise. That game is expensive. Would you like to fill one out too? She hands Alex a card. Of course, the production values on that game are fantastic, and the character designs by Natsuki Ash... Oh, I, st I nearly got, got it first time. Natsuki Akashima, there we are, are as incredible as always. You fucking freaks. I loved her works on those two catgirl twins from the series with the aliens. <laughs> now look, he's being vague and doesn't know shit. I'm finding it hard to believe that this guy was ever a legendary playboy. What sort of girl falls for a guy who says things like cat girl twins from the series with the aliens? But I guess the best way to find out is ask. I quickly fill out the survey and scribble in my email and other contact information, then hand the card to the maid. Thank you very much, master. Alright, I'm done too. Alex hands over the card to the maid as well. Thank you very much, master. I hope you two enjoy your Sundays. Well, it'll probably go over my face if I push this subject too often, but go on. Now that the maid is gone, this is probably a good time to confront Alex. So Alex, AI ask you a question. Sure thing, you can ask me about anything about romantic games. Um, Alex, look mate. I'm not saying I don't want to speak to you about romantic games, but I would rather chew my own cock off. So I'm not going to do that. No, it's not that, I heard you're a player. Of course, I enjoy fighting games too. No, not that kind of player. I meant like a guy who picks up chicks. Well, I've been playing a lot of romance games lately. He's avoiding the question. If you're not seeing his face. No, no, no. I mean in real life, picking up real girls. Right, don't be silly. Dating sims don't actually represent reality. If you teased Asunder in real life, I bet she'd hate you. <sighs> I'm afraid none of the techniques in the romance games will help you get a girlfriend. Alex, listen. I heard you used to be a notorious pickup artist from a group called the Wings of Light. I need to know if it's true. I, I need help. Right, I don't... My friend Claire has an abusive boyfriend. I need to find a way to break them up. If you know anything, I need your help, please. You're serious, aren't you? No, no, no. Although, again, you can tell the game's gone dramatic because... So we're in a dramatic mode. Listen, Rai, I'm just an otaku. I like anime girls and dating sims don't reflect real relationships, right? For some reason, he seems to be acting really evasive. If he really isn't one of those players, shouldn't he just say so outright? But if he doesn't want to talk about it, I can't force him. Maybe if ask him about it in an indirect way. I... <laughs> okay. 
Alright then, if you did make your own dating sim, what would you do to make it more realistic? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, not take people to cosplay cafe. That's what I'd do. Well, first I would have not just HP and MP, but also a special stat called personal strength. Uh, right, I see what the game's doing here. Personal strength, what's that? It would be a stat that symbolizes things like your confidence and self-esteem. If your PS is low, then you won't have good conversations with your dates, or you might have fewer com choices to improve your relationship. Yes, very fucking cute. I get it. Right? PS. Maybe talking to people who aren't your romantic interest. Okay. I've got to speak to you when having my PS is high. It's a very cute idea, but you don't need to fucking tell me that in that kind of obtrusive words. This Christ, a bit late for a tutorial. Oh man, this day has been a roller coaster. Well, you know what they say, life is a roller coaster. By they, I mean some tosser once in the 90s. I'm already worn out, but I should probably check my email before I go to sleep. One new message. Let's check it. Subject, you were looking for me. Author, the player. Him, Itsu at nakajimu.com. I heard that you're looking for me, right? What the? It's him. I once thought that it was wrong to do the things I do. I realize now that there are far greater evils out there. I'll give you a little help, but you must not tell anyone about this. Do you have... Do we have an agreement? I didn't know at the time, but my world was already changing. Alright, I'm starting to think that this might be taking itself a little too seriously now for what is essentially a dating simulator. <laughs>